Oh, good. good morning there. It's uh, day number two in the uh, Blessed Hotel. And right about now, I'm wondering if I can uh, call our Willie and have them deliver a pillow top mattress. I guess the one positive, I can keep the AC cranked down to like 64, 65, and just have it run continuously all night long. I don't have to worry about paying for the power bill. <laughs> Did you sleep even better than your bed at home? No. How about you, Lori? No, it sucked. I'm too close to you. You're squished. You're way too close to what me. Like, I can feel your hot little elbow. It feels like a searing, <laughs> a searing iron all night long against my body. Are you hoping we have something really delicious today, like round bacon? Who came up with round bacon? Is it manufactured in a factory? I mean, I understand a sausage. You can form it into a round patty and an egg. You could pour it into like a little round tin and cook it. But round bacon? How, how do they do that? Do you want some of the round bacon? I don't know. It's right in here. It's right there. Look, look at that round bacon. It's the same size as the eggs. Do you think it comes off the pig that way? No, I think they just maybe um, cut it in circles. They cut it in circles? Yeah. So like when they get it from the pig, they just cut it in circles. Interesting. Right off the back of the pig, huh? Maybe. I don't know. But what's this? The waffle baker. I feel like I'm at the waffle house today. Carbon's golden malted pancake and waffle flour. Simply the finest. We finished our delicious breakfast and we're making the day number two journey back up east to uh, get kids to school and to meet contractors and investigators and insurance adjusters and engineering engineers that doesn't even make sense construction engineers architectural engineers no I got it structural engineers look at all the kids running that looks like an awful lot of fun right there I'd rather do that than meet with all the other crazies because it just looks like fun so another fun day sweating for like 10 hours straight in a hot garage or a hot house without electricity. And then Ford and I get to finish working on his rain gutter regatta, because it's tonight that we set it sailing on the rain gutters of tomorrow. <coughs> Everything seemed to work pretty good last night. The sprinklers ran, all the relays were on, um, all thanks to this quick little setup. Just a couple of uh, deep cycle marine batteries, a big hefty inverter, 2,000 watts continuous, 4,000 max peak. And already this morning, the batteries are charging up, which is nice. We're up to 0.5 amps. Uh, yesterday it was around 5 or 6 amps charging into the battery. Like I say, once that sun gets up over those mountains a little bit better, these bad boys get all fired up come into this uh, power distribution unit, which I'll be moving inside. This is just makeshift. And yeah, then I've got extension cords going inside uh, power up the router, which I need because unfortunately my sprinkler timer right here is all controlled via Wi-Fi. So without power and without any uh, internet I can't control it I can't turn it on so anyways um, yeah everything seemed to work well the garden watered last night front and back lawns so it seems like a win-win so far did you want to say something for yeah this is cool this is cool yeah why is it cool because you don't need the energy and the electricity inside you can just get the solar panel will then make power yourself. Because Rocket Man Power shut us off because of the fire. Yeah. This is our next option, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we can at least take care of the yard. All right, we're at the, the end of day two. And as you can see behind me, 
they've cleaned, literally just cleaned up the entire place. So there's not much left. So, other than dining room table, piano, they're gonna come fix and clean or whatever. The rest of it, just there's nothing. And then maybe tomorrow he'll rip up all this crap and fix the electrics. And then maybe, just maybe, oops, we can get back into this place before the month is over. Maybe sooner if we're lucky.